last eight. Again, Gobert injured in the first 17 seconds of the game. And you just saw George Hill on the bench with two fouls. Hayward will fire and hit. At some point here in the four miss, they want to get out in transition, play more in the open court, not allowing Utah to dictate. Ingles on a kick. Hayward knocks it down from long range. The all-star Gordon Hayward all has seven assists to lead L.A. They've got 17 as a team in this first half. Redick off. Long rebound to Mack. Get it up the floor. Hayward did not anticipate Paul. It's a blocking foul. Third personal on Chris Paul. He goes directly to the bench. And, and I know he's frustrated because he set it up perfectly. He allowed Hort Hayward to gather and turn. If you watch this, I mean, that's a, that's a tough call. I, I'm not sure about that one. You, you also could have called travel, but fortunate for the Jazz, so because that is his third foul. And then remember, that will also affect the... Missed all of game two and ruled out for game three yesterday. Beautiful cut by Hayward. Great feed by Dia. Boris Dia for the easy finish. There is Hayward. Has space for three. His third field goal here in this first quarter. And a timeout call. Doc Rivers doesn't like exactly what you said, Adam. He has space. They're doing a good job getting him open with screens, and he's moving without the ball. There's nobody in the same area code. He's going to knock that down. He penetrates. The Andre Jordan's man goes to help. DJ's wide open. They post up Hayward on Paul. Tough shot for two. And what a start for Gordon Hayward. Derek favors with the left shoulder, gets him open for a split second. This is just a mismatch. He's too big. As good a defender as CP3 is. 1,810 days since the last playoff game in Salt Lake City. It is Hayward with 23 points in the first half. Hayward draws the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be the second on Paul with 2.2 remaining. Well, they got the switch they wanted. They got Bob Mute off him because George Hill came up and set the screen. I'm a little surprised CP reached in. Long rebound. Hill was hit. Hayward has it. Hayward a big three. Way off target. Saved and bounced to Ingles. Hayward takes it inside. 11 seconds to go. A two-point game. And a There's the shot. A little bit too quick. Good hustle play by Joe. Saves it. Ingles to Hayward. Just think of, of how he's fighting Jordan underneath. And then Jordan made a beautiful pass. Chris Paul has 23 points. Double team on Joe Johnson. There's the rotator. Hayward knocks down the three to make it an eight-point yeah, game. Half a step late. But you like what you saw. They gambled. They took away the, the double on the right by making the correct pass. And Chris Paul was a half a step late franchise could look drastically different if they lose here today next year oh, good by Hill. oh my. finish the layup that was his easiest shot of the series it's okay Gordon Hayward had his back and now the and field goal percentage during the regular season Hayward guarded by Chris Paul Strong drive, took the hit, and won! See, he called for the ball on the left wing. He wanted the one-on-one -on -one because he had Paul. Once he gets by Paul, you have to rotate. You gotta see right here. See, right away, Jordan comes over, but he pushes and, and, and gets the foul. And you're happy for Hayward because Hayward's had a very tough game today. Now, he's 6 for 16 from the floor, but he's been quiet. 2010, a team that was too young, too inexperienced, too injured a season ago has rallied on the road and done what only 20% of road teams have done historically in Game 7. And what of the future of Chris Paul and the Clippers? Let's go to Lisa Courtside. Thank you, Mark.